Hello ladies and gentlemen, that is right, we are back with Crossout. Wow, it's really been a long time since I've gotten into this game, since several, several months. For those who still remember, I used to play this back in April and May, I used to play this game. And so it's now on Steam, it has been for a little while, and uh, a lot has changed, in fact, um, one of the biggest changes is the durability system, which I thought was actually a pretty good thing, uh, to some degree, is gone. It's completely gone. So durability is gone. The market is still here, though, and it does still have its sort of supply and demand. So it's still sort of working in the same sort of way. Uh, the factions now have new... Um, I don't know if they've got new... Vill they've got some new vehicles, I think. I'm not too sure. But there are some new parts as well. Uh, one of which I'm taking a look at today in this video, and there's also an event going on which gives you even more exclusive event parts as well. So if you're getting into the game now, uh, there is actually that event going on right now that you can actually take part in, uh, and it uses this sort of money thing that you get uh, for completing battles, and that goes towards unlocking some of these. So some of these parts are actually really good, and they sell for a lot on the market, which is really surprising. But anyway, so this is what I've currently put together. I decided to go back to basics and make a gun truck. Now these these uh, heavy machine guns, in fact machine guns in general have changed quite a lot because the minigun is no longer a legendary item or, a, or an epic item. It's now um, I guess a rare, a purple rarity item. So they've changed the way the heavy machine guns work. They now actually do a lot more damage, but there's an additional perk that you can see there. It each hits uh, increases the next one's damage by 5% for 2 seconds, and it stacks up to 10 times until until you miss. So that's interesting. So they do a lot more base damage, and then they have a perk that increases their damage. So I'm not sure exactly how powerful this is going to be. But the other thing over here is we have a side turret. Uh, so these are actually sort of sponson-mounted machine guns which you can put on the front or sides or rear. I've put them on the sides here to be a little bit more like a traditional gun truck. Uh, so these are actually side mounted and they'll fire in a sort of arc in that direction. They actually have a pretty wide arc. I think I can show that. Uh, no, I, don't, I can't remember how to show that now. But yeah, so there, there is actually that. Uh, so that's the new part that we're taking a look at today. You're going to see just how effective it really is. Its base damage looks okay. It's kind of along the lines of maybe a medium machine gun, maybe slightly weaker than one. Uh, but just the fact that it, it's it's quite well hidden and it has a decent amount of structure on it. So it should be good? I, I don't know. I'll let you guys uh, tell me what you think of it uh, down in the comments. Uh, if you are playing the game, of course, uh, let me know what, what you think of it. But let's jump into a battle and see how well we do. Alright, here we go, and the match has already started. So, uh, let's, let's uh, try and follow the team, try to stick together with the team. I think that's a good idea. Now, there are some new maps as well. This is one of the ones that I'm pretty familiar with, of the train yards. I don't know if they've changed this all that much. Let's just fire some rounds that way. So you can see our left machine gun is firing at the same time. So that's kind of going nowhere. But that means that if we're at a 45 degree angle, or even something shallower than that, in fact it's almost frontal, we can actually put three machine guns uh, on target at once. So, pretty good actually, and they can of course fire backwards. So I'm just going to fire off at this bot over here. Oh, we've got somebody with machine guns on, uh, with shotguns on us. Alright, he's taken off our machine guns. He's taken off all of our weapons on that side, which is not good. So we only have this side machine gun to deal with right now. Uh, so I'm just going to try and knock into him. We've got missiles coming in. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage indeed. And I don't think we're going to last much longer than that, unfortunately. Uh, oh, what was that? So I just saw a new weapon effect that I've not seen before. A little bit of lightning on it, or some sort of electricity. Alright, here we go again, and I didn't actually check what power score we're in, as it turns out this is in the 5000 range. So, uh, that is actually quite scary. So that's why there's a lot of enemies, uh, and allies, to, for that matter, that are particularly scary. So definitely not something I want to get too close to. 
Now, I am running this with a generator and a uh, heavy engine, and that's just to kind of keep us moving at a decent rate. This is quite a heavy vehicle. There's, there's quite a lot of armor on it, so the structure of it does stay together quite well, but I think the weapon placements might be an issue. Just going by how, um, by exactly how... Oh, somebody's flipped over here. We're going to try and help him up. I've got a teammate going over there. I don't know if he's going to be able to help him up, but let's let's try to do that. Let's go. There we go. We flipped him up. There we go. And let's get moving. So this is an encounter map, which means uh, there is a... Oh, this is the same guy from before. Don't want to get caught out by those, those shotguns because he is targeting our guns here, which is quite dangerous. Do you want to take off? There we go. We've taken off his shotguns. I think he might be a little bit screwed here. Just going to keep firing away at his cabin. We've got to kill. I don't know exactly what that is, though. There's a sort of electrical effect. If you know what that is, feel free to let me know down in the comments, because I've not seen that before. And it has been several months since I played, so that could be something that um, I might want to take a look at. And we've lost that one as well. All right, third match, and I wonder if we can actually really make some difference with this, because I think... Oh, we do have horns! Got little horns and stuff. I completely forgot. I remember reading about that being added, but I, I completely forgot. Oh, we have lights as well. We got little lights. So, uh... Let's see what we can do with this. I do want to keep most of the enemies at a fairly long range, but that might leave us a little bit vulnerable to uh, machine gun, or uh, rather, um, missile damage. So definitely don't want to be ex too far exposed. Get a decent volume of fire here. There's somebody running off that way. I'm gonna put some suppression down that side. Just trying to get some hits in at this range here. Got some hits over there. Just gonna try and fire a little bit further out that way. But overall, I mean, the amount of... I mean, if your accuracy is not great, then of course fire more shots, right? That is the Vladoff way. You don't need to be more accurate, you just need to fire more bullets. And that's kind of the way I've been dealing with this. It seems to be working out for me quite well. I mean, we're just firing as many bullets as possible. And that seems to work. Alright, somebody over here in front. Try to get the machine guns on it. It's kind of like being in a tall ship in a way, because you, you sort of have to na navigate like sideways, sort of get that little broadsider in there, a little bit of broadside action there. So definitely a bit different. I don't mind it all that much actually. It's it's a little bit weird, but it's kind of fun. Right, Got that kill assist, and that's a win. All right, here we are on the ship graveyard, and. I don't know exactly... I can't really remember this map all that well, to be honest. I do remember there being a lot of obstacles. And a lot of cover. Also, apologies if, if throughout this video you hear a lot of background noise. I actually have the window open right at the moment because it's very, very warm. And my AC is not working. It's not working even in the slightest, so... I kind of have to keep that open in order to actually breathe in here. Get some shots into William. I believe that's a bot, actually. Over there. I've got an enemy over there. Might be able to land some shots on them. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe just finish off this bot here before we go chasing after other players. Because he is really being very aggressive here. Ooh, okay. That's a lot of shots I don't want to take. So we have just lost one of our heavy machine guns. Definitely not an ideal situation. Don't want to get in the way of our teammate who's backing up there. There's the missiles coming in. Ooh, it's just a little bit out of range for them. So range could be our advantage here, just get, staying out of range of those missiles. I do still remember Pyre missiles and Hurricanes being particularly annoying to fight against. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily the case anymore, but it's still worth remembering that a lot of people still do actually run them. And of course, if people are still using them, then they must be useful for something, right? Okay, so let's try and get around here. There's another one running up there. Missiles. I don't know where the missiles are going. Oh, cock. All right, and last match of the day, and I'm just, I'm starting to really like this, this sort of build. I've always liked machine gun builds, 
Not so much auto cannons, although I, I do like cannon builds as well. But I've always been a fan of the sort of machine gun builds. And I, I do wonder if that's because I just don't really like having to aim all that much. Uh, that's not to say that, of course, machine gun builds don't require aiming. It's more that they are a little bit more forgiving just because of the sheer volume of fire that you're putting out. But, uh... Let's see if we can get around the temple over here. There's one. Definitely don't want to get caught out in this area. There's a lot of cover from the buildings, but uh, going out in the open means uh, definitely being a little bit more exposed to uh, to missiles and, and, and the like. Uh, let's just see. I'm not entirely certain. I can see them on the map, but I'm not entirely certain exactly where they are. There's a guy with an auto cannon, of course. Just trying to duck into cover right here. Managed to avoid most of those shots. Got a couple of glancing hits, though. He's definitely got this place locked down, unfortunately. Alright, let's fire a few shots off in this direction. Get a couple of cheeky hits in. Of course, we do have some enemies in that direction as well. Let's fire some more. He's not showing up, but he is definitely there. I do definitely want to land those shots as much as possible. And those are two uh, twin 88s on there. <laughs> Some 88mm uh, turrets. And if he's alone, I might be able to do something about this, but this is a very, very dangerous situation to be in indeed. Let's get some shots onto that cabin. He is smoking pretty badly. If we can get away with this, we might actually be able to... Yep, yeah, alright, so a teammate's taking him out. Oh, and that's a, an interesting giraffe build there. But I've knocked out his auto cannon, so hopefully somebody else can finish him off. Alright, and that's gonna wrap it up for this uh, particular episode. But let me know what you guys think of this particular build down in the comments below. And of course, the, uh, the sort of builds that I've been trying to kind of come up with for Crossout, after all, just getting back into it. So this is fairly simple, maybe a little bit boring for some. But let me know what you would like to see me build in the next one. And, of course, would you really want to see Crossout return to the channel for good? Or at least for the foreseeable future? Let me know down in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.